DC on flight right there. Right. At the Lil Will camp, my man came through for me. You know what I mean? Motivate these kids, give them something to look forward to. Fucking right. Give them something to go back home with. You know, you know what I mean? Saying? Just showing love in the city. It's, hey, it's more than one way to skin a cat. I do my hoop thing, my man do his entertainment thing. So, yeah, right. you know, bring him through. I do. So all of y'all in here playing basketball? Yeah. All y'all. Y'all yeah. wanna y'all y'all wanna make it to what Lou at, right? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna tell you a couple things in order to get them. Pay attention. I gotta pay attention now. That, that, that's, that's how you get roasted. <laughs> Stay out of the streets and just stay in school. And, and I'm gonna tell you a, a, a little history about me. Well, when you in the streets, there's a lot that come with you. You know what I'm saying? Like before me becoming famous on TV, I was out here in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I was out here shooting people and breaking people out and stuff like that. Like I was out here in the streets. And 2013, before I got famous. I got stabbed up four times. Somebody cut me with a knife. I got hit in the back. I got hit in the head with a pole. That's why I got this scar right here. Uh, I got cut over in my hand right here. I got stabbed over here two times in my hand. So I was out of commission for like, maybe like a year, just tied up in, 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 in cash and stuff. But they just let you know that the streets are real. I, I was so always ready for whatever was going on, and then you know I was going to happen, then I ended up getting hit. You know, and that God sat me down, and he sat me down for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, I got to leave the streets alone. Because I done did everything. I done went to jail, been to the hospital. There's only two things left now, being dead or being in prison. You know what I'm saying? So he took me through the little step before I made a mistake and he ended up being in one of the biggest situations, you know what I'm saying, that would have me my whole life. So you know, I took that and I ran with it. So the same year, my father was like, they can't start those man. I'm like, man, I don't want to make videos. I want to sell crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be real. That's what I wanted to do. He's like, oh, you need to make these videos. So I said, all right. I started making videos. 
My first video was like thousand, two thousand people. So I'm like, I'm gonna keep going. So I stayed prayed up and I started going up. Next year I ended up having a million followers. Year after that, I was on TV. Now the year after that, you finna see me in the movies. You know what I'm saying? So when you stay prayed up and you do what God wants you to do, He gonna bless you no matter what. You know what I mean? So every year has been progressing since I stopped doing what I was doing in the street. Y'all don't wanna be in the streets. I'm telling you, it's too real out there. Play ball, stay in school. Say it with me. Play ball. to the NBA in order to stay in the NBA because remember it's always somebody that is working as hard as you and wants your spot. Remember that the boss, yeah he can be the boss until he slip up and then the manager become the next boss. You know what I'm saying? It's always somebody who's willing to take your spot. It's somebody on the bench right now who can't wait for Lou to trip, slip up. And take his spot, but you know what? He gonna work hard because he always knows there's somebody right there who is working as hard as him. And that's why I gotta remain working hard because I know it's another comedian, or it's somebody else who's on the internet, social world, can't wait for me to slip up so they can try to take my spot. So I work every day, like, I don't even see the, the movies and the followers. That's, that's nothing to me. Because I'm not where I wanna be, still, but I'm blessed. And I'm thankful for what I got. So I just want y'all to play ball and stay in school. One more time before I go. Play ball and stay in school. That's it. Hold up. Now we got to go. I got some questions. Y'all got some questions? Just let me know. I'll get them in a minute. Oh. Got a yeah. How did you like think of getting that tattoo on your forehead? Wait a minute, it real, it real, this is a real question right here. Say it again. How do you think of getting that tattoo on your forehead? How do I how did I think of getting that tattoo on my forehead? Okay. It's a pressing Well, like I said, when I was in the streets. I'm tatted all over the place. The DC stands for the crew. It's an organization me and a couple of my brothers started. And when my brother died from being involved into the streets, uh, I put it on my forehead to, to really show the world what I stand for and what I represent. That's why my name is DC Young Fly. My name is really Young Fly, but it's DC. It stands for the crew, so it's DC Young Fly. And I was 18 at the time, so yeah. Yeah, I, I got your skinny man. I'm gonna roast you. These two big legs, huh? What's up, brother? Okay, I will. What's up, bro? Okay, I will. What'd you say, mom? Are you getting free teams for the next move? Are you getting free teams for the next move? Guess what? I'm gonna set up something with, with Lou Bill and uh. I'm trying to get y'all a couple of the tickets, you know what I'm saying? When the movie come out, I, I, I'll probably get like 20, 30 of you guys and you go see the movie. Yeah, everybody be quiet so we can hear the questions, okay? What'd you say, brother man? Who hooked me up to get on Wild Now? I really, I went through the process like everybody else did. I, uh, 
they hit my people up in the email and I had to do an audition. And I really didn't think I was gonna get it until like two weeks prior to us shooting it. Cause everybody was being flown out and I was like, well maybe it, it is what it is, but it was a blessing to even go through the experience. You know what I'm saying? To even say, I tried out for a while and out. And then, then two weeks prior to them calling everybody out, they ended up calling me and saying I made it. Big fella. What you say, bro? Why did I want to be a comedian? How does it feel? How does it feel to be a comedian? Oh, everybody want me to be funny all the time. Like, even when I wake up, go to sleep, all the time. I mean, it feels good. It feels good. <laughs> I really feel like I'm blessed to be in this position, so I can't get it. Have you ever met Kevin Hart? Have you ever met Kevin Hart? I met Kevin Hart a couple times, probably like four times. How does it feel like getting rich? I think that question is blue. How does it feel like getting rich, bro? I can't answer that. <laughs> I can't answer that one. Hey. Alright, answer your question. What you got, Miss Lady? I've been skipping you. What you got? You. Have you ever hang out with other comedians? Uh, I, I hang out with other comedians because that's how we can open up our brains and get more, you know what I'm saying, creative in this and what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? So we try to hook up and, and, and hang out sometimes. Maybe. Three more. Why did I? I didn't choose it, it chose me. It, 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 I've been funny all I've been funny all my life. So when I was in the streets, it was either it was really in my face. It was, you know what I'm saying, God let me know, like do this, but you just really showing me without literally showing me and I just took it and grasp on to it. Oh yeah, most definitely. It it was time where the teacher couldn't even teach. I was in there roasting somebody. So, both dead. What's that? Do I do what? Oh, like, key match, fatty pay, money man, obvious, average. Uh, who else had to be in some of these? Side, you know, fatty, funny, you know. I don't know a couple of them. Sorry. Do I got pressure? Nah, no, my, my partner. Ah, no, my partner. No, I don't get any beef, any beef for nobody. That's what you don't want to be for nobody. You don't want to have a problem with nobody. You don't want to wake up, get money, keep it moving. Yeah, I Last two first. Guys, last two, all right? Have you been roasting on Kevin Hart? Oh yeah, I don't roast Kevin Hart. Every time I see him, we, we get into a little, a little, a little badge. Last one. What's up, Michael Lessie? Oh. 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 Last two. Oh. 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 Oh.